Hello there. Nicola Amnesiac Sturgeon has had another memory and administrative lapse regarding being lobbied by a large SNP donor. According to reports, Nicola Sturgeon was lobbied by a representative from a company that had given a large amount of cash to the SNP and she failed to make a record of it. Further, when confronted with questions on it, she couldn't remember. Now where have I heard that one before? And later on in the year in question, 2019, that company was given planning permission by the joint SNP Labour Stirling Council for a £650 million project. So of course questions will be asked. But I'm not sure the reports are entirely accurate. I did some digging in Companies House and the Electoral Commission and this is my take on it. In 2015 and 2016, the SNP received a total of £102,500 from two companies. In March 2015, SNP Central received £50,000 from Springfield Real Estate Management Limited, a smallish company that Alexander Adam, better known as Sandy Adam, is a director and owns over 75% of the shares in. Then in 2016, the SNP received two payments totalling £52,500 from Springfield Properties Limited, now Springfield Properties PLC. Sandy Adam is a director of it, part-time executive chairman and now owns over 25% in that listed company. The first payment of £50,000 from this company went to SNP Central in February 2016. And a second payment of £2,500 in March 2016 went to the Renfrewshire North and West Scottish Parliamentary Constituency arm of the SNP. The MSP at the time being SNP Transport Minister Derek Mackay, who now sits as an independent there, you might want to use your favourite search engine to find out why. Although both companies are owned in part or whole by Sandy Adam and share the same address in Elgin, I can find no legal device that joins them into one business entity. Whereas the press are saying that all the money came from one company, Springfield Properties Limited. Anyway, having looked at the SNP donor records at the Electoral Commission, donations of this size from companies are not exactly daily occurrences. Now, Springfield PLC submitted a lobbying report to Holyrood in accordance with the rules. The report says they had nine meetings with the SNP between 2018 and 2021, with six of them being lobbying meetings, all face-to-face. -face. One of the meetings declared was at Perth College between Nicola Sturgeon and Springfield Managing Director Peter Matthews on the 20th of March 2019, and Springfield described it as to inform the First Minister of our ongoing developments in Dundee and Perth and our views on the need for the progression of skills and development in areas such as infrastructure and how the Scottish Government can improve the current position. And it appears to be this meeting that has eluded the SNP Government Admin Department and Nicola's memory. Couple that in with a very large project being given planning permission and you can see why questions will be asked. And just for completeness, in September 2018, Alexander Adam had a face-to-face -face lobby meeting with Derek Mackay, who was by then the SNP Cabinet Secretary for Finance. There were, as I said, other lobby meetings and the press reports say that some of the politicians involved had failed to make a record of them. The SNP says of the Sturgeon meeting that it was just a five-minute meet and greet with other stakeholders present, not a one-to-one. -one. But the screed on the lobby report makes it look a lot more than a meet and greet. Now, the Lobbying Scotland Act 2016 came into force on the 12th of March 2018, but that's for lobbyists. 
For MSP's meeting lobbyists, they only have to obey Section 5 of the MSP Code of Conduct, where it says members should consider keeping a record of all contact with lobbyists. Now, if one of them's given your party serious wedge, then I would have thought the answer was obvious. So what's your opinion on this? Please like and comment below.